Welcome guys to a new episode of Golden Berry. This is a very very special video. I just collect my new car and it's right there. You remember in the past episodes I sold my S3 since that I was searching for a new car. And finally today is the unveiled day. Unfortunately Max is not here with me, he had some problems, he had to go down and roam. But you will see him and his builds in the next few episodes. But now it's the moment we were all waiting. I will leave you a little b-roll that we shot yesterday night in Milan. Me and Stefano, Stefano I leave his Instagram here, is a very good content creator who helped me out with the shots last night because Max was away. And this is it. Now you all saw the car, what do you think about it? I love it, I just drove it for a couple of days and I can say it's awesome. Let's see it together. This is my 2020 BMW M2 competition. Let's take a look. The car is packed in Alpine white. I never really digged into white cars, but it's growing every single minute on me. I really love out all the body, all these veins. You can really see it with the white, even the mirrors are good in white. I bought this car with not even 20k miles on it, 19 inch wheels. These are not the end brakes but they still work as fine on the road, I may upgrade those in the near future. I thought this car was smaller than the S3 but it's really really wide. I don't know if you can see it here but it's like going out from the body competition pack that's 40 horsepower more than the normal m2 so it's 410 horsepower this big box is awful but that's going away i'll show you the interior right now we have the m sports seats this was a must for me i really like the seats and i enjoy the interior as much as the exterior the steering wheel doesn't feel just quite right. I had the ca Forge Carbon on the S3 and that was really like super nice. So this is gonna be one of those things that goes away. We have the Alcantara brake and the dry carbon all over. I really really love these seats. M2 competition logo here. Let's take a look at the front end. This is something I love really really a lot. Look at these angel eyes, adaptive LEDs, that's crazy, crazy nice. This is a mean front end, look at it, look at these grills. We saw this really mean front end, but one thing is missing, let's see what's under the hood. Guys, this is the infamous inline 6. 3.0 S55 Look at this carbon halo. This is beautiful. I Don't even know how they fit this engine in this car It's the same as the M3 and the M4 with a couple of Changes you can see it goes all the way over your legs This is German engineering guys crazy stuff Previous owners packed it with the roof glass. I was skeptical about it. I never really wanted it because I like the plain color on all the roof. But using it these couple of days, I always 
leave it open and I'm really enjoying it so maybe I was wrong on that one thing that will go away as well are these reflectors they really just don't match we saw the engine but now it's time to hear it it's stock nothing special but let's see how it sounds <laughs> I love that it already makes those little burbles, obviously needs an exhaust, but it's quite good. I know a lot of people will ask what's the difference between the M2 and the S3. Let's go take a ride, I will put my GoPro on so we do some puff driving and I will explain you the main difference between this and the S3. So now it's time to do the comparison between my 2018 Stage 2 Audi S3 and this M2 competition. We are riding on Michelin Pilot Supersport, not the grippiest wheels, but today is sunny and hot, so that's not much of a problem. Let's check out the interiors. As you can see, we have M Sport seats. Look at this M stitching, really nice blue stitching. Well, let's start talking about the space. That's the main difference between the S3 and the M2. The M2 is a coupe, so it's a little bit more compact than the S3. The seats, I had sport seats on the S3 as well. Talking about the comfort, we have the same level of comfortness with these and the Audi. Maybe just slightly less on these M2 seats. But race-wise, with a curvy road, these are really better, like bucket seats. You can tight the hips as well and you're locked in. So that's very nice. The clearance above my head is very good. I'm 193 centimeters, very tall guy, and there's no problems, even when the sunroof is closed. One of the major difference between Audi and BMW, it's that my 2018 Audi was way cleaner, even if it was minimal. I had the virtual cockpit. I know a lot of people don't like all this tech in the cars and want it minimal. BMW has just the right amount of things that you will use. There's nothing useless. That's very nice about it. Even if I'm more like a tech geek and I like all the screens and stuff of the new cars, I feel like this is very user-friendly and intended for the driving experience. So nothing better than that. Here we have the drivetrain switch and the steering wheel switch, which you can go in sport, sport plus and comfort one of the major difference from the s3 and audi in general is this transmission toggle it's very different in audi you just go forward and back and it's a little bit more user friendly maybe it's just me i have to get used to it but there's a lot of movements to do and it's a little bit more chunky another major difference is the steering wheel this feels kind of old and it's very slippery and in a rear wheel drive i think that it must be grippier so this is one thing that i will change in the near future we have the m1 and m2 buttons so you can enter sport plus and your desired maps with just a click of a button that's very nice let's go for a drive i will switch to the sport display so you can see how much power we are putting down I will put it in M1, that's Sport Plus, with traction control on. This car has a lot of torque. Basically the S3 was a stage two with Quattro, so almost the same horsepower and Newton meters, but you can feel there's more torque in this car, even if it's stock. So let's start in first gear from still you can see that traction control has a little bit of difficulty to put down the power 
but I guess that's the nice thing about a real wheel drive. Other than that, the car is really planted, even on curvy roads. Another difference between the Audi S3, that car was four-wheel drive, could leave the seat more further back and drive a little bit loose without any problem of traction. So that was like a simple way of driving. This car, it's really meaner and you have to be careful. So if you stay a little bit in the front, it's better so you have more control over the steering wheel. That's one thing that I noticed. We are in M1 mode, entering the Autobahn for a little pool. This is where you really feel the difference with the S3. The S3 was a 2.0 and this is a 3.0. So it pushes even to the higher RPMs and it's full like all the way it has a little bit of turbo lag but that's not an issue we're gonna work on that as well we have a little bit of space here and here is where we can feel all the torque of the car it puts down all the power and even the brakes are quite good they're not overheating, so for use on public roads, they're fair enough. Before doing the launch control, guys, remember, we put a lot of passion in this video and time, so it would be nice if you subscribe to our channel. We will really appreciate that and would be a sign of support for us. This guy, what the fuck is he doing? That's crazy. Another thing that I feel a lot different between this and the S3, it's the steering wheel. It's much heavier. I have a Mini Cooper at home and it's the same feeling. But here you have the selector. You can make it harder or a little bit looser. But even in the comfort mode, it's really heavier than the S3 and Audi in general. Audi it's more like comfort. Now we can try launch control. Press the traction control off for five seconds. When it's fully off, foot on the brake. Floor the throttle. So that should be 4 seconds point 2. My old car was 3.8, but that because it was four wheel drive and tuned, so even the gears were going slightly better than this. What else can I think about? Maybe the suspension. I think this OEM suspension is better than the one that the S3 had. Another thing, it's the insulation. This car has less insulation. You can feel all the road noises and the wind. More like a race car than a normal daily. Other than that, I feel like I drove this car just a little. I still have to learn a bit of things and get used to it. But overall, I think it's great and I'm having a lot of fun with it. That's the important thing. I showed you my new car. We enjoyed the pub ride with the difference between this and the S3. But what's missing now? You know there's one rule at Goldenberry. We don't want stock cars. So, I had this car for like a week now. And it's time to start the mods. Come with me in my little warehouse. This is where I used to build and mount all the S3 pieces. I used to 3D print the parts and carbon skin them. See around we have a bunch of them. These are diffusers. Side wing tests. I had this on the S3. This massive carbon lip. A little bit of ASMR. On the These are carbon canards. All the pieces that I was rocking on the S3 were made by me. But now, let's talk about the important stuff. First of all, this is something I really was digging into. The 50 anniversary badges. I think these are super, super cool and it will stand out on the white car. You know how we say badges give you like 10 horsepower more. Then we have the front plate magnets. This is always by Twist and Fix, Dan Armand. He's a great guy and does all these pieces. 
The last thing before the big box is this MHD tuning flash drive. This is the Wi-Fi flash that will pair via OBD2 port with your MHD app. It will allow you to upload maps, even custom maps, uncheck engine lights and control all the various parameters of the car and even unlock some hidden features. But the major mod for now, it's this big boy. Let's unbox it together. I What's the point of an equal length? If you like M cars, you probably know that the F80 and F82, M3 and M4 sound a little bit rattling, like harsh metal. With this equal length exhaust on the S55 engine of the M2 competition, you're going to eliminate the strange like metallic noise. I saw that Miltech and even somebody else did it, but it wasn't sounding quite as good as this. So I went with this active auto work that I think it's the best sounding exhaust on the M2 competition. I can't wait to mount it. I think in the next video you will see everything on the car. I told you, Max told you as well, we don't leave car stock, so it's time to build it. Guys, I'm really happy with this new car and all the project that's gonna go into it. So if you want to support us, remember to subscribe to the channel, leave a little like, maybe even a comment. We will keep you posted on our builds and manage to do a lot of content for you. See you in the next video.